it in our Indian or regional dishes or which dishes would be like ideal to incorporate these elements? I'm so sorry, I hold it on your head backward. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, yeah, okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, I've actually been very enriched listening to all of you. I was reading about hazelnuts a bit, but thank you so much for the amazing uh, short course slash master class on how amazing the Turkish hazelnut is. Uh, so, so far as incorporating in uh, Indian cuisine, I think the best answer is that you probably have been eating a little bit, right? The snack and everything that we produce. And we have a huge menu that we have created, uh, which is very interesting. Uh, because I was looking through a presentation and largely what I saw was patisserie, bakery, chocolate and sweet meat products, which is where Turkish hazelnut has been used. Uh, our uh, whole motive today is to uh, incorporate the Turkish hazelnut into curating a menu that is largely savory. We already know that we can make amazing chocolates, uh, desserts and other sweet meat products, but uh, Chef Gokhan who is here from Turkey, Chef, please, there you go. Uh, so Chef is the one who has created all the magic and I am uh, helping him along with Chef Raman. We have curated a menu where uh, there will be hot starters, there will be a galoti kebab, we have done a vegetarian galoti using Turkish hazelnut. Uh, there is a couple of, uh, there is a paneer tikka which is crusted with the hazelnut uh, crust. Uh, we have used hazelnut in almost every form that we could all the way uh, uh, into the Indian meal. So the idea was to showcase Turkish hazelnut um, in Indian food while keeping the characteristic flavor and taste of the hazelnut uh, intact. So that's what we have tried. Uh, let's hope uh, that we are successful, but we'll only get to know after we have, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the whole thing is in the taste of the pudding. So once you've eaten the pudding, you have to tell us in the mind. Thank you. My question is uh, to Kiran Sunil. Uh, sir, can you share any insights on the collaboration efforts between Turkey and India to promote products like hazelnut? So, this is an example, a living example. Uh, we have uh, now a program for multi year program for promoting hazelnuts uh, in India. We know very well that Indian people will allow our hazelnuts, but we have to promote. Like, uh, you know, uh, the most famous apple in Indian market is uh, Turkish apples. So one day, the uh, Turkish hazelnut will be also so famous in Indian markets. Uh, overall, Turkish and Indian uh, commercial relations, they are really, very well. They are going very well. Uh, two years ago, 2023, we hit a our bilateral trade volume was uh, 12.5 billion and it's increasing. Okay, it goes up and down, but, but the trend is increasing. So, uh, hazelnuts uh, is an uh, agricultural product and uh, it's also a big shame in Turkish exports. And uh, like uh, we are exporting hazelnuts all over the world, so uh, India will be an important item in our uh, bilateral commercial relations. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. You're done? Okay. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We are towards the end of the program. Your presence really means a lot to us. We would like to extend a sincere gratitude to NDFC India for their invaluable support and to the embassy, especially Ms. Yeris and Mr. Birkan. Um, whose guidance and assistance has made this launch possible. Once again, thank you so much. Um, we deeply appreciate your contributions and look forward to a fruitful partnership ahead. Thank you so much. And please, we would really want everybody to try the hazelnut-inspired menu prepared by the chefs. Please join us and enjoy the food prepared. I <laughs> 